And when it goes this haywire over something like COVID-19, that's all it takes to throw flush everything he said right down the toilet. That's all it took? Wow. Imagine if there were a imagine, real crisis happening. Imagine if we had a serious, serious pandemic of, I don't know, smallpox or Ebola or something new that somebody released into our system. <clears throat> Some biological weapon, or if China really threatens Australia, you know, we just signed that pact with them. <clears throat> and I just read this interesting article because of everything that's going on in Australia. And the topic was why are we, why are we helping a fascist regime with nuclear submarines? Hmm. Huh. That's an interesting question. Uh huh. Yeah, mm, right? we we'll be hard-pressed to come up with the answer, actually. Probably going to end up being on the side of China one day, defending them from Australia. I mean, <laughs> seriously. I, yeah. And you know how it's uh, the saying is, never let a crisis go to waste. Rahm Emanuel. Mm -hmm. It's like, never let a crisis go to waste, and if it's not a crisis, make it a crisis. Oh, they've done a brilliant job of that. We have gone from 15 days to flatten the curve to... <sighs> To Better this. get the shot if you want to still feed your family. Right. I mean, it's ridiculous. And now, did you hear this quote from Biden? Um, what's the percentage now that we're going to need vaccinated if we're ever going to get back to normal? And when you are forcing people to get vaxxed in this mm -hmm. country, that's not normal on any level. But but what do you think the magic number is now to get vaxxed, according to the old ass bum in there, Joe Biden? Mm hmm. I don't know because the actual number is what seventy percent? Aren't we sure seventy percent, sixty-seven or seventy percent fully vaccinated? Not anymore. No. Um, the old ass <clears throat> bum in there got his uh, third booster shot yesterday, Did and he? he said, "Now we're at uh, we got to get ninety-seven to ninety-eight percent of oh Americans vaxxed if we're ever going to get back to normal." Screw you. Ninety-seven to ninety-eight percent. Yeah. Well, that's that's not going to happen. Period. That just isn't going to happen. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I'm telling I mean, even you. with your, even with forcing people to do it, even with threatening with their jobs, uh, you're still not going to get to 97. percent No way. Wow. Nine, when did, did he say that yesterday? Because mm -hmm. I completely missed that. Yeah. 97 to 98 percent. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, this is. But they think that that they can just jam it down our throats. And they, they can force us to do it. And they're enlisting fellow their fellow Americans, our neighbors, uh, to put the pressure on us and to force us to do it too. <clears throat> because they've made it seem like we're murderers if we if we don't comply. If you don't comply, you're literally trying to kill them. Yeah. That's really how they've made this argument, uh, how they've shaped it. But but you're a Exactly right. Our society was already ripe for the picking as far as being divided mm -hmm. on fill-in-the-blank issue. And now, the way they are using each other, each of us against each other, uh, in, in making this into the crisis to control us. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Australia, man. And what's the, what is the difference? How, how is it not happening here, what's happening in Australia? It's the fact that there are 400 million firearms owned by private citizens in this country the second amendment you you whether you like guns afraid of guns whatever you should be grateful for the second amendment or else you would be going through australia right now that's what would be happening here period mm -hmm. especially in places like new york where the governor just took over the health care system last night it just replaced workers that uh don't want to get the vax national guard i mean just it's insanity. I cannot believe the stuff that we're talking about. Yeah, and if it's not if it's not the COVID nightmare, it's the racial nightmare or it's the cancel culture thing. I mean, we're going through so many things all at once that just it makes it a real challenge right now to keep hold of everything that our founding fathers built here.